So, uh, Paul, uh, you got that phone call, and then uh, what happened next? Well, I almost left my dinner and went down to Kai Johansson, some, who is the, the leader of the gang. He was the, the inspector of the museum. And, and then we drove out there, and it took us perhaps a quarter of an hour, and then we saw the silver treasure. It was still in the ditch. And then Holger and Kai phoned the, the museum, the National Museum, and the local museum in Venstris, and they said, we can come the next day. So bring in the, the coins and collect them and take care of them for the night. There was 1,700 silver, big silver coins. There were some of copper. And then we were looking at them and we could see the, the elder one, the, the oldest, was from the year 1580 or so. And the youngest was 1774. Wow. And then Kai, he, he's a clever man, he said, it could be uh, because of the war with the Swedes that they had digged it down yeah. and hidden it. Because the man who owns the place at that time, we knew he was Lauritz, Lauritz and Melchior. And he was a, he was a sailor, and, but also a skipper who owned his own uh, ships, he had four or five of them. So they were trading on Norway and on Yulang. So he had money yeah. and, and was at that time a rich person on Lesu because of the trading yeah. with corn and timber and not corn, but, 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 but with salt. Ray. No, not, not salt. salt. That was too late. But, but uh, they could bring to the Norwegian people um, both uh, rye and, 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 and barley and then bring back timber. Yeah, but the, there were no timber in Denmark after the salt in the, the so, period. So, is so that's an assumption that it's gonna be from a Swedish trade that the treasure uh, is, or uh, yeah, the treasure was, 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 was Danish coins, but 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 uh, because of the good trade on Norway, he had been able to put something aside. Okay, but we think that because of the war, he digged it down because the Swedish fleet were in Kattegat, surrounding Lesø. Oh, okay. He had been a bit afraid. We lost him at sea, but we don't know exactly how and when. Yeah. But my story is that he went to, to the other uh, Danish ships in, in, in the Norwegian coastline to alarm them about the Swedish uh, fleet and war. Okay. And then they had taken him. But we don't know. But what is said about the place is that the ghost of this man, Lauritz, yeah. came every year, the 17th of November, came back and tried to tell his wife, I'll tell you, my dear, where I have digged it down. <laughs> it is outside. You have to go so many steps to find it. And you know that apple tree with the good apples, there I have digged it down. But she didn't there listen to ah. him. So therefore they didn't find it. Oh. Holger found it because there was a fire on that farm in, 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 in a barn. And after that, they, they took it down and, and rebuilt a new construction of wood because they wanted to make a place where his wife could color the woolen uh, things. Yeah. And when they were digging that ditch for the foundation, yeah. he suddenly said, no, no, his wife said, oh, you have to come in and eat. And then <laughs> Lars, his son, and Holger were, were just scraping the ditch, the side of the ditch, and then suddenly it's a clunk, and out the coins were coming. So it was a, a pot made of clay, yeah. and inside it was, and there was a bit of cloth at the top, and just down in, in, in 40 centimeters. So it was just hidden because something was one unstable in the country. But we counted the money, and uh, and then the next day they came from the National Museum and said, "Wow, yeah, that's huge. That's a, a real treasure." Yeah, because today it perhaps would have been a four to five million Danish corner in in value. Wow! So he had been a rich man, and 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 then, then we learned about him, and they were digging the area that that was the only mm. pot to be found. We didn't find anything else. 
And many, many had heard the story about the ghost, but actually that stopped after finding the money because the money went to the National Museum. So now the ghost is there? No. <laughs> No, 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 that's that's in Copenhagen. Oh, no, it's too far. To, I, I don't know. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no he, he, he kept uh, calm and, 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 and it didn't appear. But when Leslie, after some years, perhaps eight, ten years, got some of the treasure back, and that was a third part of it, they had it in a small house in Vesterø. Small house, some, it was a museum for, 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 for the sailors and for, for yeah. the ships. And every autumn, 7th of November, at 12 o'clock in the evening, you could see a shadow coming from the harbor. Oh. And it was stripping after him. He went to the door and there was a light from, from, from the street and it was falling into the door where you had a small, small window. And I saw him look inside with a smile on his face because they were taken care of. They were polished and fine. And then he just said, oh, and went down to the harbor, down to the water again. And I've seen that twice because I had to bring my sons to the the place where they are dancing at Carlson's Hotel. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have a club for the youngsters to dance in, in Saturday evening and they didn't go there before 12 in the evening. And I have to, to stop at the, the, the super books, the supermarket, because I have to get some gasoline on, on the car. Yeah. And then I heard the clock say 12 and saw that man come. My sons doesn't believe me. But so I'm you sure I saw You it. saw a ghost twice? I saw him twice, yes. Wow. That's my story because when we live here and, and pupils are coming from all over Denmark visiting Lesø, yeah. I have to make some stories for them. So to remember the story of the silver treasure, yeah. I tell them about how Lawrence was a, a man at the sea, how he fought with the, with, with the whales and how he dared to go to Norway in storms and things like that. So I made him some kind of a hero. Yeah. And then you know you have to tell about the ghosts because when people have done that for 400 years, I can continue. That's my right. Yes, of to, course. To, to go further with the story. Yeah. yeah. So, of course, I have seen him. Okay. No doubt about that. So, and now the place of discovery is a, a brewery. Yes, it's a brewery. And that's very funny because Eric bought the place after some other owners and then he started making a brewery and then I went there for, for two treasures one to taste the beer <laughs> number two to tell him where exactly and which oh, store let's, uh, cheer to that yes, already eh? cheers where we, we find we found the, 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 the treasure yeah last summer Holger was back on the island he left some years ago uh, many years ago and he was back telling the story to the museum so I was there he was there and Kai was there, so we told the story about what we saw that day. And I, it was in 1982 in September, in the month of September, it's many years ago. Yeah. So you had to recall that what, what you saw. It's very exciting, very Beautiful. exciting. Wow. You must have been like overexcited, like finding it, like the, the evening yes. itself. Holger was the one owning and, and getting also so a reward for what he did. But, but we saw it just half an hour after it was, was found. Yeah. So it was exciting. And I participated in counting and, and polished them. It was only dust. Yeah, yeah. And you could see them and silver coins. And so old, it's 400 incredible. years. Yes, yeah. that's incredible. Beautiful story. When I was a young boy, where I grew up on, on Jewish land, the nose of 